What's up blockheads in the garage today and we are working on the Harley Davidson Iron 883 Sportster, my OG iron. This is actually a video that I've received an absolute ton of requests for and that is how to install a swing arm bag. I'm gonna walk you guys through the installation of this thing and how I mount it on my bike. So if you guys don't know the story behind this bike, I owned it for about a year and then I ended up trading it in for a Dyna Lowrider S. Um, and then about a year went by and I actually got the opportunity to buy it back. This was my first motorcycle ever. And one of the very first things I did to it was I added a swing arm bag to it. And the reason I did that is because I needed a little bit of storage on the bike. In the swing arm bag, I would keep a disc brake lock. So basically a lock that went on my front disc so whenever I went to grocery stores and all that stuff, I would put it on there just so that it was secure. And in there, I would also keep a cover for the motorcycle. So whenever I would park it outside, if I was going to work and stuff like that, I would basically put a cover over it. And then I kept like a zip tie in there. I also keep a blockhead bike bag in here because it takes up so little room. And if you need a larger bag to wear like a backpack, just in case you're ever in a situation where you need to like say buy a six pack or something, which those are super useful. So uh, the bag just incredibly useful for like little small things. And then like you can buy that blockhead bike bag in addition, if you ever need it. I've used mine so much. It's just a really nice storage option. Anyway, so this thing is a William Max swing arm bag. I will drop the link to it down in the description below. So it looks like it has these buckles, but it actually has these um, snaps. So basically snap, and same on the side, snap. Opens up like that. You've got a leather strap that goes across here to secure stuff even more, which I didn't ever really use those. And then also just to note the back of the bag, it's actually this hard plastic. It looks like leather, but it's not actually leather, but that's a good thing because this material, it actually holds up to the elements better. Anyways, this is everything that it comes with. I pretty much just took it right out of the box from Amazon. So you get some directions and then it comes with these straps, right? So you get three of those straps and uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, it does come with this uh, film, which you can put on your swing arm and then wherever else you're gonna mount. You know, if you wanna put it on the frame rail there, it is just uh, like a thin film, as you guys can see. I've just cleaned and wiped down the bike, so if you wanna do that, clean and wipe it down before you put that on there. So the back sides of these, it's not like, a, like the hard shiny part of the leather. It's actually the soft part of the leather, so you'd probably be all right, but if you want to protect it, go ahead and install those on there. On the back of this bag, you have a couple openings. You're gonna run those straps through those openings. Now the thing is, you have to run the straps back through the buckles inside the bag. So you basically put this inside the bag, run it out of that bottom hole, so there. You run it out of the bottom hole, pull it basically until it hits the buckle, and then you're gonna run it back through this top hole. Now, in between there, you're gonna run, say this was like my swing arm, you basically run it right there, and then this is gonna go around it, and then you go back into the top hole and into the buckle inside the bag, which I'll do right now and I'll show you guys how I do it. Because if we do it like that, run it through the top first and then around and down, whenever you bring it back, the strap sticks up. I don't want the strap to stick up, I want the strap to stick down, but it's out of the way. So we'll run it through the bottom one first. You are gonna to wanna to take the battery cover off because we wanna run it around the bar right here and we need the battery cover off in order to get that around there. So I'm gonna hang the top one first, which is gonna be this one, just so it has some support. And then we're gonna hang the one on the rear. All right, so I've got all the straps on there just very loosely so I can show you guys basically how I route them. Front strap, like I said, goes around the support right there. The top rear one goes up here. And so I basically looped it around from underneath and then coming forward and then into the bag so that the straps point downwards through the buckles. And for the back one, this is the tricky one. This is, uh, you guys always ask me like how I, I got my bag to like not set like right here, but to set more like here to actually line up with the rear shock. And so what I do is instead of running it right here, like just by the brake or the caliper, I actually run it through that little small gap where the axle is. It's out of the way. I ran it like that for like a year for a while. So that one I basically run the strap starting out of the bottom, going back behind, coming through the space in the swing arm for the axle, and then running that back through here. So that way, when you want to tighten it down, you can just grab it, yank it, and that tightens it down. And then you just basically have to line up the holes in the buckle, just like that. 
place this part of the strap back through the buckle and pull back tight. There we go. And do the same with this top one. It goes back here, make sure it's snugged up. Just want to make sure that it's going to set and line up correctly. So that's pretty good. Whenever it'll be clipped on, that'll set right. And you want to check for clearance, obviously that it's not like touching anything, but we're all good there. Tighten up these ones, tighten up the top one first. Flip downwards, good to go. Same with this one. Run it through the buckle, put the battery cover back on. There you go, swing arm bag is installed. Has a little bit of movement, but that's fine. It's not gonna be flapping in the wind or anything, but uh, that's pretty much it. So there it is. And the awesome thing about it is it doesn't stick out like crazy on the Sportster. Fits this space perfectly. So yeah, crazy useful. That's it, easy enough. A lot of the times when I would use it, I would actually only open the back one. I never really left these clipped or anything, so. Usually I just leave them unclipped and push them down, get them out of the way. That's it, there you go. You have a swing arm bag on your Sportster. And for those of you that ask, can you use a passenger peg with it? Yes, you can. It does get in the way though. You have to undo this front clip. So basically the passenger pegs go here where they mount right there. And so you can basically tuck this underneath that piece right there whenever you have passenger pegs on there. So they do have clearance. If you got shorter pegs, they'd have even better clearance, but uh, yeah, you can do it. It just sticks right there. Anyways, that's a very requested video on the channel, so I hope you guys find that useful. Like I said, if you're interested in the bag, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Incredibly useful bag. I had one, like I said, on this sports or whenever I owned it initially for about a year and it didn't fade. If anything, it just gets better as it breaks in because it actually softens up a bit and it's not, you know, as, as rigid. But as is, it's a great bag. Doesn't have too much chrome on it, two buckles, it's nice and secure. I'll probably go ahead and stock up some stuff in it here in just a moment. You know, do like a microfiber to clean my uh, visor and stuff like that. Uh, zip ties, just in case you never know when you need zip ties. What else? A couple other things, maybe the disc brake lock. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comments below. Let me know and I'll uh, answer to the best of my knowledge. It's a pretty straightforward, pretty easy install. I think the hardest thing about it is uh, where you route the leather straps. A lot of people seem to have some trouble with that, but that's basically how I do it. So loosely install all of them and then tighten that bottom right one down the most first just so you have that line that follows the the suspension there and then uh, tighten down that top one on the right and then tighten down the front one on the left and that'll pretty much set the bag in the position that it's supposed to go right within that little triangle there on the Sportster frame. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you found it useful, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. And until next time, you guys, ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.